That's more, that's better than being. I like to score even more. Yeah. Oh! Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, man. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad I, I, didn't, I didn't get that on camera. Hi, this is Riddick, Big Daddy Bo, two-time former world heavyweight champion, and you're watching Cool True Sports. <laughs> true School Sports. True School Sports. There you go, champ. Thank you. All right, Ben and Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with Nav Mansuri. Yes. I, got, I got it right, right? Nav yeah, Mansuri. There you go. Perfect. Nav, like, the, like you didn't, you don't even know the, the, the rapper Nav is, but the, the rapper named Nav. Uh huh. Yeah, I've heard that one more time. I told you. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard, I heard he's a rapper. I can rap as well. You got any I'll bars? Be joking. I'm joking. I'll be joking. <laughs> but um. I don't think I'd be good at that. Yeah, you guys stick to what you're good at, and you're you're pretty solid at punch people in the face. I saw you get your ten rounds in today here at yeah. Kangaroo Boxing Gym. No, 100. percent It was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. You know, we especially gained three different sparring partners, fresh every time. You know, most times, sometimes we do two each, do three each, four each, and it's it's, it's good. It pushes me to the limit, and that's what you need. Get out of your comfort zone and push yourself to the limit. Yeah, man. It's good, man. They had you huffing and puffing like the big bad wolf. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> On that. Nah, but it's good. It's, it's, it's the work that you, you, you really need to go into and fight confident. And that's the push that you're going to get in the sparring. It's more similar to when you go out and fight and it gets tough. So, so when you're practicing in the gym, it'll work out on the fight night. Absolutely. Um, so for people out there, that, out there that aren't too familiar with you as of yet, could you just tell them about your background in boxing and just uh, who you are in the ring? Yeah, well, I, I'm, uh, I was an ex-English uh, English, like, middleweight champion mm. uh, and I ruptured my Achilles tendon mm. about, what was it, 2015, April I think it was. Uh, so I've been out a little bit, but now I'm back. And every camp's been, get, I've been getting better and better and better. This camp has just been phenomenal. It's put me back to where I need to be to realize the hard work that I used to do. You know, I've been able to do things that I didn't used to be able to do before. A lot of running, a lot of jumping, a lot of things that I am doing now. So it's becoming all beneficial. Uh, I've had 24 fights. <laughs> now I'm fighting for the 17th of November in Holland, Rotterdam. Okay. Uh, I'm fighting for the WBA Continental title against Stefan Daniel. Okay. He's from there as well himself. He's out in training in Vegas. I'm uh, here in Miami training with Jorge, the master. Uh, things are looking good. I can't wait to the fight. I can't wait. Absolutely. And you know, fighting for a title like that is going to push you up the ranks as we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Um, as far, but going back to you though, as a fighter, like, were there anybody that was there any fighters growing up that maybe influenced your style in the ring? Yeah, I always used to love watching, watching good, good top fighters all the time. So all of them, to say, uh, my favorite fighter that I used to really like watching Sugar Ray Leonard, how he worked, how hard he used to train, and how hard you know, always seeing him in the fights, how many punches he used to throw, and that fitness, that's the next level. I really liked him. His personality is great as well. And he really was one person to look at. But all you got all the great champions, you know, all the hard work. It's like hard work can gets you up to the top. And I think it's not it's not secret to boxing to be honest. No no it's, it's all about hard work and dedicating yourself all the time. It makes a big, big, big difference. I've I've learned that now, you know, with the experience in different things. So it's stop, stay focused and living the right lifestyle. And everything else will fall in place. Was that a problem you had early on in your career, like maybe living that fighter's lifestyle? No, no, no not really. See, when I first started boxing, I never used to be a boxer. I only started to lose bare weight. That's okay. what I did. So I just wanted to lose weight, get fit, and to play soccer. I was about 15, 15, 16 when I first started. I was like 5 kilos uh, in pounds. I don't know, that like 200 or something, I think. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> So I was active, so I just wanted to lose weight. And I just loved the fighting side of it. I loved the sparring, everything else. And it just fitted it for me. And just took it from there. And here we are. There you go. I was uh, became a champ, English like middleweight champ, and I'm fine for the time. Looking good.
Yeah, you're doing all right for yourself. I saw, I saw you doing. You, you're holding your own. You're doing well. You're doing well for yourself. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good, man. I love it. You know, sparring is the favorite thing about us. boxing. I really, I really enjoy the sparring. You enjoy the sparring? Yeah. That's different because most yeah. fighters hate sparring. Yeah, they do. Well, it's, 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 it's when you fight, what are you going to be doing? What's the most similar thing that you're going to be doing? Sparring. In the fight? Yeah. It's a spar. So everything else that comes around with it, you know, your conditioning and your running, your pads, everything. It's good, you know, for these things to do. You're feeling tight and do what you got to do, do 10, 12 rounds, different sparring partners. It pushes you up to that limit, so you know when you're tired, depleted, and you got to do 10 rounds, and you got nothing left after three or four. Yeah. And you complete that turn, it's back of your head. Just imagine like how I'm going to feel when I'm fresh. And that, that plays a big part. Absolutely. Sure. You mentioned sparring. Have, have you sparred any like notable names, like anybody that people out there would know? Yeah, I've sparred. I've sparred good, good, good people out there. I've sparred Paul Emanuji for his world title. I helped, I helped him out in Italy. Okay. He won Brian Rhodes, me and him, we used to train together. He was in box Canelo. Brian Rhodes was European champion. I know Brian Rhodes, yeah. Uh, I, was, I was training inside of him for about four, four years, four, five years. Okay. So I did a lot of sparring with him. Kel Grove, a lot, 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 lot of other champions as well that I've sparred. It's only in the learning curve, so I didn't, used to shy off from sparring with anybody. I used to just turn up and, you know, it's to make you better and sharper. So, to do that experience and the best thing. Okay. Was there was there anybody in the in the ring when you spar them that kind of surprised you or like you said like that guy was really good? They all do. They all do they got, they got their own style. But, but in a way, I saw his love. It's, it's just like oh, I want to be able to keep up with them or do something better. You know, so that was good. So it's something to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. To, to like challenge yourself a little bit and to go against someone who's better than you or get you better. Yeah. Not not money in the comfort zone. So it's just better to get out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. to get better. So I found that really well. So every person that I spoke that's better than me, I like to explore a bit more. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm glad. I, I'm glad. I didn't, I didn't get that on camera. Fuck up. I'm glad I did it. I had to censor that one out. Oh man. No way. Yeah, Isaac Chamberlain. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, joke over there. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we wanted to see what happened. Okay. I hope you didn't get that. I didn't get that. Thank God. I didn't get that. Okay. Oh man. It's kind of hard to get my focus back now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, it's all fun. Yeah. Man. Yeah. All working hard, having fun. <laughs> Chamberlain is out here. He's having well. too much fun. We're living the life, really. Five star hotel you, lifestyle. You told me, you told me. I'm gonna have to go check you guys out you soon. Gotta, you gotta come. You gotta come definitely get that on camera. It's gonna be fun. And it's all about, you know, a lot of people say living humble. Yeah. I think you can get more humble than <laughs> the living lifestyle that we live in, for sure. There you go. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Oh, I'll see. definitely come and check out uh, yeah, you, you guys' humble lifestyle you guys yeah, going on. If you, if you bring your bed as well, you've got downstairs clear. Oh, okay. So you can sleep over. <laughs> <laughs> you, guys got a, you guys got PlayStation or Xbox? Yeah, but we're struggling with TV first. Oh, man, really okay. So, so you guys you guys in yeah. the gutter. It's, it's, been, it's, it's hard. It's hard living yeah. there. We've got to wait until you come and see it. Okay. It All right. I'll, I'll let you come see it. We've kind of, like now, we've got it in. Uh -huh. But when we first got in, Empty house, man. Yeah. Come and watch. I'm, I'm, it's all about. I'm gonna come. I, I want to see. I want to see for myself. Yeah, no, 100. That'd be fun. Okay. Well, uh, uh, any message to the boxing world about your career? What you got going on? Keep your eye open, cause I'm on my way back, and 100. percent I'm on my way to the top, and I won't stop until I get there. There you go, my man Nav. Thank you very much. Mansuri. 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 Nav Mansuri. <laughs> Thank you for talking. Yeah, yeah, Appreciate man. it. Thanks, my man. Let's go champ, it's the champ, Shannon the Cannon Braves, and you're watching True School Sports. Let's go champ!